Let's take our next question that is question number 7. Now the question you see belongs to chapter kinetic theory of gases. As per the question a small particle of mass m moving inside a heavy hollow and straight tube along the tube axis undergoes elastic collision. The tube has no friction and it is closed at one end by a flat surface while the other end is fitted with a heavy movable flat piston as shown in the figure. When the distance of the piston from closed end is L0, the particle speed is V0. The piston moved inward at a very low speed, capital V, such that V is very very small than this DL by L into V0. Where DL is the very small displacement of the piston, which of the following statements is are correct? Now, as you can see, this is the tube, this is the particle we are talking about and initially the velocity of this particle was V0 and the velocity of this piston is constant as capital V. Now, what will happen with time? This piston will keep on moving inside and this particle will keep on colliding with the other two ends again and again, right? What we have to do is we have to find which of the following statements is correct. So, the very first is, if the piston moves inward by this small distance, the particle speed increases by, we need to find the speed, the increase in the particle due to the piston. Second is the particle's kinetic energy we have to find. Third, after each collision, the particle's velocity increases by what factor? So, and at last, the rate at which the particle strikes the piston, right? Now, let's start with the very first point. So when you talk about the piston, what will happen with time? If you talk about it, in dt time, it will move a very small distance dx. So I'll say dx can be written as v dt or dt can be written as dx by capital V. That is in this time, the displacement dx and what is the velocity is v. Now in the same duration, if this particle moves up to this point and comes back, let's take this distance as x. So, dt dash be the time it will take to cover this distance. I'll say it is 2x by its velocity at any point. Let's take it as v. I'm not taking v0 because eventually this velocity will change. Now, if you want to find the frequency of this collision, definitely 1 upon dt dash will be the frequency. So, if you say the number of collisions the particle will do per second, let's take it as small n, it would be 1 upon dt dash, that would be v upon 2x, right? Now, if this is the number of collision per second, then if you want to find out that how many collisions took place in this time, simply we have to multiply it. So, if I say number of collisions in dt time, it would be simply v by 2x into dx by capital V. Now, with these collisions happening, the very first important thing is this piston is getting inside, so it should be negative as the distance is getting smaller. So, now you have number of collisions with you. Now for each collision, what is the increase in the speed of the particle? It's simple. Since it is elastic collision every time, right? So for that, E will be equal to 1. And what is E? It's very simple formula. Velocity of separation by velocity of approach. Now, if you expect this particle that while moving towards it, it is having some V velocity. This is the V velocity. While moving avoid, away from it, it was having some V dash velocity, right? So, when you talk about velocity of separation by velocity of approach, I will say this is V dash minus capital V and this is V plus V. Where capital V is the velocity of piston, this is the velocity of particle after collision, this is the velocity of particle just before collision. And since it is elastic collision, it should be 1. So you will see that V dash minus V should be equal to V plus V. If you analyze properly, you will get this as 2V. That means the change of velocity or the magnitude of change of velocity before and after the collision would be 2V. That means option C was correct. So for every collision, what is the increase in the speed value that is 2V and how many collisions are happening? 
so you have found it already this many collisions are happening in dt time so if you want to account that the speed change in dt time that will be dv will be given by so that is v upon 2x into dx by v into 2v this is the total chain this v is the capital v right now this and this will be cancelled 2 and 2 will be cancelled so what is the value of dv and yes it is negative as well i have found, forgot this one so now it is minus v dx by x just simplify it dv by v is equals to minus dx by x if you integrate this equation what you will get is so integrate it from v naught to v that is the current velocity so when you integrate it from v naught to new velocity v this distance will from l to l naught by 2 as per the question in that case you will find v dash would be equal to 2 v naught that means particle velocity increases when the piston moves from l to l naught by 2 that means if you see here from the following options let's take the piston moves inward by dl the particle speed increases by 2 v dl by l no this would be wrong second the particle's kinetic energy increases by a factor of 4 when the piston is moved inward from l naught to l by 2 yes because the velocity is getting doubled so this is right the option that is after each collision with the piston the particle speed increases by 2v yes it is also correct the rate at which the particle strikes the piston no it was not we have found the collision frequency to be other than this one so what is the right answer to this question would be option number b and c right and this question is a difficult question i hope you have understood the question very well now let's move on to the next question that is question number eight now the question you see belongs to chapter thermodynamics as per the question a mixture of ideal gas containing five moles of monatomic gas and one moles of rigid diatomic gas is initially at pressure p naught volume v naught and temperature t naught if the gas mixture is adiabatically compressed to volume v naught by four then the correct statement is an r so if you see here as per the question you can find out So there is a piston which is fitted here initially it was p naught pressure v naught volume and t naught temperature later on this piston was compressed to volume v naught by 4 making the new pressure p dash and new temperature t dash right now we have to find these values and from these we will be able to find the solution among these four options so let's see the very first option what the first option says the work done during the process so we need to find the work done second the final pressure we need to find out third adiabatic constant of the mixture of the gas we need to find and the fourth is the average kinetic energy we have to find when the mixture after compression that is the final average kinetic energy so let's start finding it since it's adiabatic compression so first of all we need to find the gamma of mixture it is given by n1 cp1 plus n2 cp2 divided by n1 cv1 plus n2 cv2 so we have five moles of monoatomic gas and one mole of rigid diatomic gas for monoatomic gas cp will be 5r by 2 and cv would be 3r by 2 similarly for diatomic gas cp will be 7r by 2 and cv will be 5r by 2 putting that value you will get this as 1.6 so we have gamma with us now now second point is since it's an adiabatic compression in adiabatic process you will find that p1 v1 gamma is equals to p2 v2 gamma right so what is the initial pressure p0 v0 gamma that is 1.6 this will be p2 or p dash we don't know yet into v0 by 4 into power 1.6 when you solve this friends you will get p dash as 9.2 p0 so we have the final pressure as well now talking about the temperature part so you might be knowing this formula as well tv gamma minus 1 that is t1 v1 gamma minus 1 would be equal to t2 v2 gamma minus 1 so that is t0 v0 gamma minus 1 would be equal to t dash v0 by 4 gamma minus 1 
when you put this value you will get t dash is equals to 2.3 t naught right now when you want to find the work done in this case that would be p naught v naught that is initial pressure minus p dash v dash divided by gamma minus 1 let's put down the values you will get p naught v naught minus 9.2 p naught into v naught by 4 divided by 1.6 minus 1 now when you solve this one you will get work done is equals to minus 13 p naught v naught by 6 and as you are aware in the initial condition there were six moles that is five moles of monoatomic and one mole of diatomic so p naught v naught would be equal to 6 r t naught so this will be minus 13 r t naught so we have work done as well with us let's see which is the best suited option among the four so when you talk about the first work done the magnitude would be 13 r naught r t naught yes it is correct Second, the final pressure of the gas mixture after compression in between 9 P0 to 10 P0, yes, it is also correct as it is 9.2. The adiabatic constant of the gas mixture is 1.6, yes, it is correct. Then, the average kinetic energy of the gas mixture, we yet have to find this. So, for the average kinetic energy at the final state, that would be equal to, average kinetic energy would be equal to N C V delta T. So, C V of the mixture will be equal to N1 CV1 plus N2 CV2 upon N1 plus N2. When you put down the values that N1 would be 5, N2 would be 1, this even would be 3 R by 2, this would be 5 R by 2. Putting the values you will get CV of the mixture is 5 R by 3. So average kinetic energy in this case will be 6 as the number of moles is 6, that is 5 R by 3 into 2.3 t naught solving this you will get 23 r t naught approximately and if you see the fourth option so you will find that it is saying that it is lying between 18 to 19 r t naught no this one would be the wrong option so among the four a b and c are the right answer to correct answer so correct answer for this would be a b and c option i hope you have understood the question very well now let's move on to our next question